How different is your opposition on Saturday compared to what you faced last weekend? Well, you, you got to play well to win uh, playoff football games. So you know we've seen uh, we've seen these guys three times, and uh, you know we're looking forward to getting out to Winnipeg and playing good football and seeing what happens. When you look at what they can present on offense, either with the running game or with Zach Caleros, we have always talked about it in the past slowing them down as opposed to stopping them. Yeah, they're uh, they have uh, multiple good players, and they're a veteran group that's been around, and their coaching staff has been around. So they're uh, it's a tall task stopping them. But uh, I know our guys are excited about the challenge, and uh, you know we'll go over there and see what we can do. Do you get the uh, opinion that this is a very confident bunch, especially the way that Vernon played on the weekend on your defense as well? Yeah, we we know two things. We know that it's going to be a very tough task beating Winnipeg because they're a very good team. And on the flip side, we know we're a good team too, and that when we show up and play really good football, we're tough to beat. So you know we're we're handling our business of uh, we keep talking about preparation is making sure that we're ready to go for um, Saturday at 5:30, and that involves obviously taking care of ourselves physically, mentally, all those things, and then having good practice weeks and making sure that we're, uh, we're good to go. This is from the league website. How do you right. feel about that number? Chances to win the Grey Cup. Well, I hope our guys. Uh, I hope our guys are intrinsically motivated. You're talking to a coach here too, so um, you know if they if they give somebody fuel on the on the side, then good for them. But we keep talking about it's about us. It's about us and playing good football. And um, you know we're excited. We've come a long way from uh, from Kamloops and training camp with the opportunity to play one game to go to the Grey Cup. So uh, we just want to make the most of the opportunity and uh, go from there. So there's no external impact from people sort of writing you guys off and sort of giving you no chance? Well, I don't know. If it help, like I said, if it helps someone out on our team, then then good for them. But I sure hope their, their uh, main uh, motivation comes from within and, and just wanting to play well. And um, um, But, you know, there's nothing nothing wrong with being an underdog. Rick, thing. was that the exact decibel level you expected in Winnipeg, or was that it's, like two bats in the on-deck circle? Um, that, that's We want to make it so we can't hear. There are times in the game in Winnipeg where you cannot communicate. Our offense won't be able to communicate, and I just want to make sure we're living in that world. That was a one of the big motivations for me to, to get into BC Place is to have a proper proper crowd noise because you don't get that unless you're in a stadium with a full uh, full speaker system and so we get three days in of uh, where we can you know function at a high level it's going to make a big difference for us because it's going to happen in the game where you won't be able to hear